In the last video I talked about the new Russian Ural trucks presented at the Comtrans 2023 exhibition, and this time I'll talk about the new commercial vehicles from Gaz. This company is the largest manufacturer of light and medium class trucks in Russia. The premier of the exhibition was Valda E12. Before him, the Gaz company's heaviest truck was the Lawn Next, weighing 10 tons. Now the Valda E12 has appeared with a total weight of 12 tons and a payload capacity of 8 tons. It was offered with 4 wheelbase options and 2 rear suspension options, leaf spring and pneumatic. This is a completely new model, with a new frame, suspension, gearbox and engine. The 4-cylinder Yams 535 engine went into mass production quite recently. The cabin is supplied in disassembled form by one of the Chinese companies. This electric truck is called Neos. This is a robot with a lifting capacity of 1 ton for working in closed areas. For example, in warehouses, manufacturing plants or airports. Neos autonomously navigates a given route using radars, lidars, video cameras and other navigation aids. Depending on the number of batteries, the Neos range ranges from 40 to 120 kilometers. All four wheels are made steerable, thanks to which, with an overall length of 6.5 meters, the turning radius of Neos does not exceed 3.5 meters. He can even move like a crab, that is, sideways. This experimental van developed by Gaz with a gross weight of 3.5 tons is called SDV 3.5. It is intended for urban postal services that are actively developing in Russia. The entire design of this van is aimed at creating maximum comfort for the driver, who has to get in and out more than a hundred times a day. Therefore, inside the body there is a passage from the cabin directly to the cargo compartment, there is a low and level floor with side and rear doors without steps, and there is an automatic door that can be opened and closed without letting go of the package. To make it easier to roll up or roll up a cart with parcels, there is a ramp in the rear doorway. From the outside, this light van is no different from the Gazelle NN model mass produced by Gaz. The main innovation in its design is in the cabin. This car was the first of the Gaz company models to receive an automated gearbox. It was developed by designers of the Gaz company and consists entirely of components produced in Russia. The Gazelle NN with such a gearbox is currently undergoing testing, and mass production is scheduled for next year. A new direction for the Gaz company is the development and construction of motorhomes based on its light commercial vehicles. Some of their first samples were shown at the exhibition. Its total weight is 3.5 tons. The motorhome is equipped no worse than foreign analogs, which are no longer imported to Russia. It is designed for four people. Two sleep on the first floor, two on the second. The motorhome even comes with solar panels. The Gaz company produces the Sobel NN family with a gross weight of 2.5 to 3.5 tons. At the exhibition they showed a new model of this family, with all-wheel drive and increased cross-country ability, called Sobel NN 4x4. In its design, engineers tried to combine seemingly incompatible things. The comfort of a minivan and the cross-country ability of an sub and we managed to do it. Sobel NN 4X4 received a completely new transmission, which uses a two-speed transfer case controlled by a toggle switch on the dashboard, and locking mechanisms for the cross-axle differentials of both axles, which the driver can turn on by pressing a button. Independent front suspension improves handling and ride quality. Sobel NN 4X4 will go into mass production in 2024. The Sobel NN shown at the exhibition in the bus version began to roll off the assembly line of the gas plant just during the days of the exhibition. This minibus seats seven people. Its main advantage is its transformable interior. The second row seats can be rotated, and the third row seats slide on tracks in the floor, allowing you to adjust the size of the luggage compartment. 